Hi, everybody. I'm going to take some time right now to go through some details on what I call a mini project that you're getting ready to start. So the project, I call it, I don't know my solar system. Can you explain it? Ha, ha, ha. Um, and we are going to be creating um, a project using the Twitter platform. So I'm going to kind of go through the sheet and I'm going to share it with you. Um, the background is this. We all know that Twitter or any social media for that matter, Instagram, Snapchat, um, they've changed the way that people communicate today. So what we have to imagine is what if this technology existed in the past? I want you to think about what the Twitter feed of someone you know that's famous might might have looked like. Um, so Aristarchus of Samos was a famous astronomer. And what he discovered is that the sun was the center of the solar system, not the earth. So if he knew that, this is what he might have tweeted right here. It says, the universe doesn't revolve around you, it revolves around the sun. Hashtag sun-centered. So I want you to imagine today, because you're going to be assigned either an astronomer or a spacecraft, I want you to imagine that ancient astronomers tweeted about their lives or even space satellites, somebody was tweeting. Um, we're gonna use our history knowledge, our literacy skills, and our imaginations to explore famous astronomers and space satellites that are responsible for modern day models of our solar system. So the first thing that we're gonna do is you guys, when we're done with this little video, you'll log into Google Classroom to access what's called the tweet sheet. And that's where you're gonna gather your research notes. Um, you'll there on that tweet sheet, find your assigned astronomer or your spacecraft. And on this tweet sheet, you're going to use these links and documents that I have in Google Classroom to research your assigned astronomer or spacecraft. So I want you to know that as you're reading through the info, you'll be gathering information to complete the tweet sheet before you even create the, the Twitter page. So I'm gonna pause right here and show you an example of the tweet sheet. I'm just gonna use my fourth hour because I have that one done already. So this is what it's going to look like. And you're going to see that I have an example at the top. So here's the example I read you for Aristarchus. And you can see um, there's the little tweet that I had on the paper. Um, I made up a handle for him for Twitter. I called him a hashtag at math genius because um, he used math to prove that the sun was the center of the solar system. Do you see right here where it says 81? Well, 81 is the number of characters that are in this tweet right here. And I only want you to go to a max of 140, but it automatically counts. So right here, if I was typing something and I wrote, hello, um, you would see over here, it would, well, it should. Oh yeah, it automatically changes to five. Uh, there's five letters there. So this is going to be where you're going to type your tweets that you see right here. And then the hashtag here, notice that this one right here says Aristotle that's your assigned topic so once again i'm using my fourth hour and this is going to be a pairs project some of you will be working individually depending on how the classes shake out but in this particular case alex and harmony have aristotle and as you scroll down the tweet sheet um you'll see everybody's assigned people and all of their names all right the whole class will be on this one document um, and where you're going to be looking for this information is underneath the classwork tab. Uh, the classwork tab, it's going to say project details. I don't know my solar system. Can you explain it? And you're going to see that I have PDF documents for the six astronomers that I've assigned. And then I also have a link for NASA's missions. So when you click on that link, it's going to come up right here, whichever space satellite you have, it's alphabetical list. Um, so you can see all of the missions are listed here. So I know that somebody is assigned Cassini Huggins. So when I click on that one, you're going to see that it takes you to a special page all about Cassini at Saturn. Um, and anything that I'm going to ask you to research, it's going to have on this page. Maybe the spacecraft and the instruments or the timeline or the team and the moons that it explored. So all of this is going to be on the missions page on NASA. Um, on NASA's website. So that is going to be um, how you're going to fill out this tweet sheet. This is like your research sheet. Now, what is it specifically that you have to tweet? What do these five tweets need to contain? We're gonna go back to the instruction sheet. So on the instructions sheet, um, you're going to be making a Google slideshow eventually from this research that you're doing. 
and each group of two is going to write a set of five tweets that the astronomer or the spacecraft would find important. So here are the guidelines for the five tweets. Tweet number one, you must explain what they are famous for discovering. And that should be pretty easy on either the PDF or the website. So that's tweet number one. Tweet number two, you have to give details that describe their discovery and contribution. And that's gonna be pretty significant. So I feel like that should make up tweets two and tweet three. Tweet number four, you're going to come up with a fun fact, a did you know about your spacecraft or your astronomer? And then tweet number five, you're going to find out if there was any controversy or maybe inaccuracies about the ideas, um, maybe about the astronomers and what they came up with, or maybe about the spacecraft and what they discovered. Um, so that's going to be the five tweets. Now, keep in mind, you're going to be writing these tweets in first person. So um, once again, let me go back to the tweet sheet for a moment. Um, you can see that what I wrote here for Aristarchus is the universe doesn't revolve around you. It revolves around the sun. So I'm writing that as if I am him. Um, so these tweets are going to come from first person. You're going to be telling me all about you if you're a spacecraft or you if you're the astronomer. Um, so group one, this is where you'll write your five tweets in these cells right here that you see. And then the last thing that you have to fill out besides coming up with a handle and um, your hashtag I've given you is you have to come up with some biographical data. So what does biographical data mean? And by the way, when you're typing in these types of documents, this is called Google Sheets. When I click the cell right here, see the pink circle, nothing happens. But up top, you, you start typing right here. So I write type here. And notice that it appears in the cell below. That's something some people don't know. All right, so what goes in biographical data? Well, if we go back to the um, instruction sheet, it says the biographical data, you're going to find out where they were born, the dates, their nationality, um, their basic personal information, the dates that they might have had a Twitter account and when it would have been applicable, uh, the cool website links with important information about your astronomer. So this is if you have astronomers. And keep in mind that after every tweet that you research, you can also come up with funny hashtags. Uh, for instance, um, hashtag eat that Aristotle if you don't believe in Aristotle's idea and you're a different astronomer. So the biographical data and the website link are going to go on this little research sheet, biographical data here and website link here. So group one, and in this case, it's Harmony and Alex, they are going to be filling all of their information out on this sheet. Now, everybody's going to see it, but you don't need to pertain yourself with what they're doing because you're going to have a different person under here. So in, in group two in this particular class, it's going to be Eli and Riley, and they are going to be working on Nicholas Copernicus and all of his tweets and ideas. So this is going to be a living, breathing document that everyone will see. Miss Philly will have access to it, and so will I. Um, so these are the six astronomers, Aristotle, uh, Nicholas Copernicus, Claudius Ptolemy, the P is silent, Galileo Galilei, and Johannes Kepler, and finally Isaac Newton. Now, when you get through the astronomers right here, you're going to see, starting with group seven, we start researching space satellites. So Messenger is the first spacecraft. So if you get assigned um, a spacecraft, and for instance, Grace Ann and Kelly have that, um, you'll go back to the instructions and scroll down to the next page. Spacecraft people, these are your parameters for research. So tweet one of your spacecraft is describe what your spacecraft was designed to study. Tweet number two is uh, give details that describe its discovery and contribution, and that would be tweets two and three. Tweet four is give me a fun fact about your spacecraft, like did you know? And then tweet five will be problems with your spacecraft in space or in launch. Um, and then your basic overview, instead of um, biographical data, you're going to have a basic overview. For instance, what is your object? What was it designed to do? Where is it located in the solar system? Does it have a launch birth date? Um, if not, you could say to be determined. Um, and is it still in orbit? You know, when is it going to end? And then give me a cool website link with information about um, your spacecraft, it should say here. Sorry, I have a little typo and I'm going to fix it right in front of you. All right. So um, that is going to be the spacecraft people. And again, you can use funny hashtags, hashtag telescope in space, NBD, no big deal. Um, so 
Then finally, once you have your tweet sheet filled out for your assigned person or spacecraft, um, and remember to follow all the parameters for that, once you have that done, you are going to then be ready to create the Twitter page. Um, and so um, on the Twitter page, your first slide is going to contain all of this information about your spacecraft or your astronomer. Your second page on your Twitter is going to have images. So it says Google slide number two, when doing your research, save any diagrams or images that showcase your topic. And then you're gonna include them on the second slide of your presentation. I wrote, you must have a minimum of three photos and diagrams, and the images and diagrams must be labeled with an explanation of what they're showing. So I'm gonna show you an example Twitter page for both an astronomer that I did not assign you guys and a spacecraft that I did not assign you guys either. But I will be sharing this document with you in case I went too fast or you could always pause the video and listen again. But here is the example Twitter page that I wanted to show you. So um, first of all, you're going. this is for the astronomer. You're gonna be given this, this template, yours will be blank. Now I gave you one for Aristarchus of Samos and I just wanna show you how it's going to look. So over here on the left, you can see that this is his biographical data that I would have put on my tweet sheet. And notice that this right here is a live link. If I want to find out more about this guy, math genius guy, I can click on this link and you can see down at the bottom, the website pops up. All right. I made up dates um, about when he may have um, come up with the Twitter and I did put his birth date down in the bottom left. Now the five tweets, they're listed right here in order tweet one, two, three, four, and five. Um, and you can see that there's the first tweet I gave you as an example, but his second and third tweet should have been his contributions to astronomy. So um, this is actually what he did to find out that the sun was the center. Tweet number four is a fun fact. And then tweet number five um, is going to be a little bit about his controversy. So Aristarchus received a lot of shade for his sun-centered model. And that was the controversy with him. So he, they saw his idea was old school, um, you know, so I wrote a bunch of shade. So you guys can use this as an example and um, I'll be sharing this example um, with you as well. All right, so that is if you have an astronomer. Now on page two, so this is one page I have to create. And by the way, you're gonna have to insert these images that you see and the background images and all of that. Um, page two, is you're going to have to have a, um, sorry, I don't know why this isn't working to click. Oh, there it goes, um, an images page. So diagram one, diagram two, you have to have a minimum of three here, um, but I put a diagram of his sun-centered model and I explained exactly what it was with a label. And then I did diagram number two, um, another mathematical model of what he actually discovered. And then I have an image of him up here. So that's for uh, if you have an astronomer. Here's the example if you have a spacecraft. I did the Hubble Space Telescope because I did not assign it. So once again, your basic info is going to be over here. You can see that Hubble is located at 340 miles above Earth. This is a live website to find out more about Hubble. I said, you know, is it still in orbit? It's still going 30 years later. And that was its launch date down here. Um, and then these are the five tweets for the satellite. Tweet number one is you know, the basics, like what is it doing? It's a telescope floating around space, taking images of the stars, planets, and galaxies. Um, no clouds in my way because they're above the whole entire atmosphere. Uh, tweets number two and three are what did it do? Uh, well, Hubble discovered galaxies with the deep field picture like this one I used in the background here. And it also discovered um, the birthplace of stars, the weather on Jupiter, the five moons of Pluto and planets and other solar systems. All that at 17,000 miles an hour beat that. Um, Hubble also peered back into time and discovered an object more than 13.7 billion light years old. So Hubble essentially discovered the age of the universe that we know of today. Um, so change astronomy forever. No big deal. I'm a big deal. Um, and then tweet number four um, is just a fun fact. Hubble weighs 24,000 pounds at launch, but if it came back to Earth today, it would weigh 27,000 pounds because they did work on it out in space. And that's the same weight as two African elephants. So a little fun fact. And then finally, the last one is, are, were there any controversies or errors with this one? Uh, yes, when Hubble was launched, there was um, a problem with the mirror and it had what's called an aberration that made the first images it sent back to earth blurry. 
And um, what we had to do is send astronauts to repair it in 1993. So all of that about Hubble, I was able to kind of pile into five tweets. Notice how thorough and detailed these are. And then the next page is going to be its images page. So on this one, the minimum you have to use is three. I used on this one, you can see a bunch. So here's a picture, a little anatomy of Hubble. Here's a picture of Hubble in space, Edwin Hubble, the guy who was named after, um, and a couple of really cool images that Hubble took. So you are either going to have a spacecraft and be designing two pages like this, or you're going to have a famous astronomer and be designing two pages like this. So I'm going to be giving you these templates, and then, um, but you won't get these today or probably even tomorrow. I don't think I'll release them until day three is normally when I do that. Um, so by the time you watch this video with Miss Philly and you complete everything on your tweet sheet right here by doing your research, by about day three, you should be ready to put it together in your Twitter slide. All right. So if you have any questions, let me know. But in Google Classroom, the last thing I wanted to show you is under the stream for today, you're going to see we already talked about the project. That's the video you're watching. You got your assigned topic. I'm going to do that per class. And the tweet sheet that I showed you is going to be linked below when we are ready for it. And I'll launch those tweet sheets per hour automatically when you guys get to class. Um, so you'll be clicking down here today to start your research. And you'll do that today and tomorrow. And by day three, you will have the templates ready to fill in. All right. So if you have any questions, shoot me a message or please ask Miss Philly. Have a great day, everybody. Go Bears.